end of day two. Here's the status report. My weaponry is going really well. And my warthog is looking fierce. Laura is intimidating all of us <laughs> with her skeet shooter. No way. Good job. Simone, on the other hand, has spent the entire day building her tail. And frankly, okay. I'm wondering how scared I should be. Uh-huh. What's saying now? That's amazing. Crazy. Uh, yeah. I'm scared. Came to the shop this morning, and it's just a sinking feeling to arrive and uh, see the gate open when you know no one else is supposed to be here. And there are tools that you recognize immediately are on the ground out front. And you're like, I knew exactly what had happened. Did they get all of your stuff as well? Yeah, they, they got all of my tools. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> well, it would seem that the dystopian future we've been building our cars to prepare for has arrived this very morning in the uh, guise of a robbery. We were robbed last night. Uh, they took every power tool we have in the building. Don't really have enough tools to work. I brought a few, some okay. corded tools, okay. jigsaws. Corded tools? What yeah. are those? <laughs> I know. We usually have a very, very deep connection with the tools we gather and where we found them. There are stories connected. So if somebody takes that away, it's not only a drill that's missing, there's also like emotional value to these tools. So I'm, I feel very, very sorry for Marcus and Adam, whose tools have been stolen. This is the hardest to replace. My electronic station. I'm glad that, I'm glad that's still there. Wow. The practical effects on us for this build are significant. This seriously hampers our ability to get these cars done in a three-day timeline. Well, I guess let's get to work with what we got. Okay. I think we will overcome that and just work with what we have, as if this was a real post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Most of the Mad Maxers have spent years perfecting their cars and weapons. But we only have one day left. Simone's inner beast seemed to manifest last night with her defensive weapon a steel scorpion tail covered in sharp, tire-busting spikes. Laura, meanwhile, is cooking up a different type of defense. As my defensive weapon, I want to create a big fog screen so that people just can't see me and my targets. Yeah, she's going for the old smoke screen trick. She's placed five cylinders filled with chalk inside her rear pipe array. OK. And connected each one with a hose to an air compressor. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> it is nice. That's not bad. Laura's defensive strategy looks like it has promise, while mine just promises to be gross. It's time to start testing my secret weapon. Animal birthing lubricant that's been dyed black. And I'm gonna spray it on the windshield of Laura and Simone's car. And then I'm gonna hit them with my toilet paper gun. So they have all this goopy crap on their windshield, they won't be able to see through it. I don't think either of them is thinking about a defense against this exact kind of attack. That is diabolical. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, they're going to be so pissed. <laughs> the 
tail's working great. We're just gonna make some small adjustments, but then we're ready to move on from the tail and onto the top weapon. I can't just take out people's tires. I need to be able to take out their targets too. I'm gonna have two arms at the top of my car that are coming for their side targets. So I'm just making these little stars that are the ones that are gonna poke them in the target. That's my tactic. I like it. I'm gonna put some spikes on it and I need to reinforce it as well. who wins this contest? Well, with targets. Each car will be outfitted with three separate targets, like this one. And you've got to take out all three of your opponent's targets to kill them and remove them from competition. The goal is, of course, to be the last person standing. Each target is, in turn, wired to a set of lights on our dashboard. Lose one target, lose one light. Lose a second target, lose a second light. Now you have one light left. And when that one goes, there's a punishment involved and it goes a little something like this. I'm okay, but ow, it's okay. But that hurt a lot. <laughs> well, that did not go according to plan. I was planning to get sprayed with goo and instead I got punched in the nose and I got a bloody nose. <sighs> That six inch length of pipe hit me right in the kisser. Hi again. Well, our test of the Slimer didn't go as planned, but that's Yay! why you do testing. Okay, in the future, uh, the testing will not happen on my face. <laughs> and we have tested this uh, while you were gone and we found that it works. So here's what happens when you lose your third life. <laughs> oh. That is so funky and awesome! What's a contest without real steak? Fun? Well, that was an interesting day. It began with a robbery and ended with a little bit of a defeat. All three of us are behind in finishing our cars. But like true post-apocalyptic survivors, we face this adversity with nothing but our wits, our will, and the scavenged ruins at hand. And only one of us will come out on top in the Desert Showdown tomorrow.